<laughs> where do I even start with this, man? Where do I even start with this? There is so much blame and criticism to be passed on in this game. So the Eagles <laughs> lose their first game of the season against the Washington football team. A team that doesn't even have a name right now. A nameless team. The Eagles lose to the Washington football team. Final score, 27-17 Eagles. All 17 of those points came in the first half. Eagles, go <laughs> Eagles give up 27 unanswered points. There, there's just so much blame to go around this game. I'm not going to – now, if you guys are expecting me to rant and stuff, I'm not going to do it. It, it. It's not worth my energy and time. I'm not going to rant about it. Am I disgusted? Absolutely. Am I disappointed? Of course. But I'm not going to rant here. I'm not doing it. It's just not worth my energy more losing my mind over this damn team. What I saw today was an absolute disgrace. It was an embarrassment to the entire football league. It was just an absolute disgrace. Offensive line is absolutely garbage. Garbage. Atrocious. Crap. Now, I'm going to say this about the Washington football um, team. I'm going to say this about them. My biggest concern coming to this game, I told you guys, was the, the defensive line of the Washington football team. Because make no mistake about it, Chase Young is a beast. Chase Young is going to be a superstar in this league for many years to come. And that's something that we're going to have to contend with. So, no knock against the Washington football team's defensive line. Those boys on that defensive line deserve their credit. They deserve their props, man. They made life absolutely miserable for Carson Wentz today. For our offensive line today. Offensive line, which is so banged up, you could tell the loss of Brandon Brooks, you know, um, Andre Diller, man, the injuries on that offensive line, you could tell they were missing guys like Brandon Brooks and, and Andre Dillard. It, it showed today. Offensive line just absolutely atrocious. Carson Wentz was just getting hit all freaking day. Just getting hit all day. Like I said, props to that Was to the Washington football team's defensive line. Ron Rivera, their head coach, who was a defensive minded head coach. He really made life, they, they really made life miserable for Carson Wentz today. So I give props where it's due there. But but um something's gotta give. Injuries, we're seeing injuries. First game of the season, injuries are really, really piling up. And I know some people are saying it you no, know, a big part of it is because of um the preseason, not having the preseason. But look, yeah, they may factor into some of it, but at the end of the day, who are we kidding, man? This Eagles team for the past couple years has been one of the most injury-prone um, teams in the whole league. So I think we're, even if we did have preseason, this team would still have been getting banged up regardless. Um, Carson Wentz started off very well. He was on fire starting off of this game, you know, tossing two touchdown passes, um, of course, one to Zach Ertz and one to Dallas Goddard. He started off hot and then <clears> – <throat> Garbage. I'm not going to make any excuse for Carson Wentz. I know a lot of Eagle fans love to make excuses for Carson Wentz when, um, you know, no matter what. But Carson Wentz, he, yes, the offensive line was garbage. But Carson Wentz's decision-making was terrible. Forcing the ball in double coverage, overthrowing, underthrowing wide receivers, just throwing the ball up there for the grabs of the uh, Reds, uh, excuse me, Washington football team's secondary. So Carson Wentz definitely does not get any pass from me today. Carson Wentz is a big part of the reason why he lost this game. Yes, offensive line was trash, and like I said, they deserve a lot of blame. But Carson Wentz, decision-making, we're, we're still seeing him hold on to the football way too long. You know, just hold on to it way too long, fumbling the football, which he did twice in this game, fumbling the damn football, hold on, hold on to the football too long, overthrowing, underthrowing receivers, um, just terrible decision-making. You know, he makes it very predictable for the opposing defense. They know exactly what he's going to do with the football before he throws it. So, Carson Wentz, man, does not – he deserves a lot of blame for this loss today. I'm sorry if anybody takes offense to that, but that's the truth. Carson Wentz played like trash. You know, he started off hot, and then everything just garbage. 
pure garbage and disgraceful. And I've seen some Eagle fans who have, um, I've seen some Eagle fans who saying that we need to go to Jalen Hurts. Like, you know, they're saying that we need to go and, um, you know, bring in Jalen Hurts. But my, my thing is, why? All, only thing you're doing is throwing that kid to the wolves. That's that's all you're doing. You put Jalen Hurts out there, you just throwing him to the wolves. It does not matter who is under center. With that atrocious offensive line, that garbage offensive line, it does not matter. Same result you're going to get time after time. Only thing you'll be doing with Jalen Hurts by putting him out there right now is throwing him to the wolves. That's exactly what you're going to be doing. You're, you're going to be throwing him straight to the wolves. So, no, I, I've seen some Eagle fans on Facebook, whatever, so, you know, social media saying we need to go, and, we need to go with Jalen Hurts now. Like I said, man, the only thing you're going to be doing is throwing that kid to the wolves. We got a lot of problems here we got to figure out and, and get straightened up. A lot of problems. And right now is not the time to throw your rookie quarterback out to the wolves. Behind that atrocious, garbage offensive line, you're going to get the same results. Plain and simple. You're going to get the same damn results. So it don't really matter right now. With what I'm seeing on the field right now with this Eagles team, it does not matter who's playing that quarterback right now. It doesn't. It's only the first game of the season. Everybody says that. But right now, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it real with you guys right now. For what I saw today, if they don't get this crap under control, they don't figure it out, get ready for a long season. Get ready for a very, very long season. That's all I got to say. Because what I'm seeing right now is very, very, is very disgraceful. You start off seven, you start off 17 nothing against the Washington football team, and then you proceed to give up 27 unanswered points. 27 unanswered points. Pathetic. The defense gave up. Later on in the game, they just gave up. Offense wasn't doing anything to help them out, so they just gave up. Despicable. Disgraceful. That's that's the those are the words that come to my mind when I just when I when I think about the performance of the Eagles today. Pathetic. So um yeah, like I said, man, my biggest concern coming to this game was the um the defensive line of the um Washington football team. I said that in my, my preview video, I said, look, man, they're gonna be uh somebody that you know that that, that defensive line is gonna be a force to be reckoned with. We gotta show up today. And block. We gotta protect. We gotta do our job to protect um, you no know, Carson Wentz. And we fell miserably at that, and that's why we lost today. We fell absolutely miserable to protect Carson Wentz. So I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, it's the first game of the season. I'm hoping that they they you know dub peace and then that coaching staff can figure it out. But right now, I am not very confident right now with what I'm seeing with this team come right now. I'm not confident at all. We'll see. Um, you know, first game of the season, we'll see what happens next week. But um, congratulations to all the um, Washington football team fans. Congrats on your win. You snapped a six-game loser streak to, to the Eagles. So congrats to you guys. Congratulations. Um, like I said, man, a lot of blame to go around this game. Running game was atrocious. We, you know, not having Miles Sanders out there definitely showed. You know, not having that, not having a strong running game definitely hurt us a lot. You know, no, but we, but we started off strong, and we just blew a 17 nothing lead to lose the game by a score of 27 to 17. All 17 of those points coming into the coming in the first half. Carson Wentz played like pure garbage after that. You know, after initially starting off hot. There's no and ifs and buts about it. There's no excuses for Carson Wentz. Like I said, offensive line play terrible, no running game. But Carson Wentz decision making is absolutely atrocious. He holds on to the ball way too long. He does not scan the foot the field. He takes way too many hits. He you no, know, he um he fumbles the ball a lot and he makes terrible decisions when the game is online. That is the facts about Carson Wentz. That is absolutely the facts about Carson Wentz. Which is why I told you guys um, when he got that contract extension that I was not happy about it whatsoever. I wasn't. I didn't feel like Carson Wentz earned that contract. And I know a lot of people are mad at me for saying that, but I'm just keeping it real. I would have rather we had made him really go out there and earn that contract and prove himself before we gave him that contract. But you can't redo the past. It is what it is. Carson Wentz, get your head out your ass. Doug Peason, do your job as a coach. 
get this damn offensive line together. Yes, injuries have just been piling up, you know, you know, just you know, on both sides of the football. I know Brandon Graham went down, Vinny Curry went down. I'm so sick of these damn injuries. I'm so I'm so tired of them, man. It's so frustrating, beyond frustrating. We are the most injury prone um no team in the league. I don't care what anybody says, we are the most injury prone team in the league. I'm sick of it. But Doug Beason, do your job. Figure out what we're gonna do with this offensive line because it don't matter who's behind sending that quarterback. If they continue to take those amount of hits, you know, um, the, if the, if the old line just continue to allow defenses to come at, to come after them like that, you know, come through them like that, it's gonna be a long season. Bottom line, no matter who the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles are, and like I said, you throw if if you throw if you throw Jalen Hurts out there with this team right now, the only thing you're gonna be doing is throwing that kid to the wolves. That's that's just the bottom line. This team sucks right now. There's plenty of time to turn around, but you got to start. You got to start tomorrow. Bust their asses in practice. Bust their asses. Um, let's figure out the, you know what we need to do to get this team on track. You know, because because what I saw today, like I said, was just absolutely atrocious. I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna curse because this team really is just not worth me. You know, worth me getting all crazy about losing my mind over and just. You know, you know, making my date shitty. It's just not worth it. It's not, you know. So I'm not gonna rant here, man. I'm disappointed. Lose to a team that we should not have lost to, but it is what it is. We have to put it behind us to see what happens next week. But um, yeah, Eagles give up 27 unanswered points and lose to the Washington Football Team, a nameless football team, by a score of 27-17. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm just gonna wrap this up, man. I'm I'm, I'm irritated right now. You know, before I get on here and start cussing, yelling, and screaming, man, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, go birds. Shake this one off. Figure out what the hell you got to do and, and um, you know, get, get this shit under control because, I, you know, I, I, I really hope that this is not going to be a long season. I, I pray to God they get it together. But as always, go birds. I'm out of here. Peace.